The ANC standard limits and fits were designed to be used with cylindrical, non-threaded parts. Since a great deal of what we design and manufacture are shafts which mate with holes, creating an international standard can simplify global manufacturing. Even though these fits were initially designed for shafts and holes, they may also be applied to other components such as keys and keyways. When working with the ANSI standard limits and fits, there are several terms with which you must be familiar. The nominal size is used as a means of general identification. For example, in this caster assembly, I could talk about the 5.8 shaft diameter or hole in the bushing. A dimension describes the geometry of a part, such as a length, diameter, angle, or other feature size, such as the diameter of this shaft. Size is a description of magnitude, such as the size of the shaft diameter is 5 8 The allowance is the difference in size of two mating parts when both parts are at their maximum material size. It is the minimum clearance or maximum interference between the two mating parts. For example, the maximum diameter for this shaft is 0.627 and the minimum hole size for the bushing is 0.6275 making the allowance a clearance of half a thou. The tolerance is the difference between the limits of size or the total permissible size variation. In the case of the 5.8 shaft, the tolerance is 0.004, and in the case of the 5.8 hole in the bushing, the tolerance is 0.002. The basic size is the theoretical size from which the limits of the sizes are derived by the application of allowances and tolerances. The design size is the basic size with the allowance applied, from which the size limits are calculated by applying the tolerances. If there is no allowance, the design size equals the basic size. The actual size is the measured size. The limits of size are maximum and minimum feature sizes. In the case of the bushing, the limits of size for the 5 8 bore are 0 0.6275 to 0. 6295. The maximum material limit is the feature size which creates the maximum amount of material, typically the smallest hole and the largest shaft size. For the shaft shown, the maximum material size is 0 0.627, and for the hole in the bushing, it is 0 0.6275. The minimum material limit is the feature size which creates the minimum amount of material, typically the largest hole and the smallest shaft. For the shaft shown, the minimum material limit is 0 0.623, and for the bushing, it is 0 0.6295. A unilateral tolerance only allows deviation from the design size in one direction, such as the 15 16 bushing outside diameter shown here. A bilateral tolerance permits deviation from the design size in both the plus and minus direction, such as the 15 16 hole shown here. Fit is a general term used to describe the tightness or looseness of mating parts, which results from the application of their allowances and tolerances. The actual fit is the amount of interference or clearance, which is present when mating parts are assembled. There are three general classes of fits. Clearance, where the largest shaft is smaller than the smallest hole, and the shaft can be easily inserted inside of the hole. Interference, where the smallest shaft is larger than the largest hole, and the shaft will need to be forced into the hole. And transition fits, where it is possible for two parts to mate with either a clearance or an interference. Parts can be designed using a basic hole system, in which the minimum hole is the basic size, and the allowance, if any, is applied to the shaft. Or, a basic shaft system, in which the shaft is the basic size, and the allowance, if any, is applied to the hole. When a basic shaft fit is used, the letter S will be added to denote that this is a basic shaft fit, such as LC5S. Typically, the basic hole system is used, but sometimes the standard will require modification to meet production requirements. When this is the case, a bilateral hole system or a basic shaft system can be used. Both will result in the creation of non-standard holes and shafts. Bilateral hole fits are designated with the symbol B, such as LC5B, and are commonly used when holes are created using drills and reamers. 
These tolerances are used so that the cutting tool has a longer wear life. When using a bilateral hole fit, the same tables are used to find the tolerance for the hole, but rather than the tolerance being applied only to allow a larger hole, it's applied in both the positive and negative direction relative to the design size, and the shaft tolerance is lowered by the same amount.